Okay, we're here at E3. I'm here with a couple of the frag dolls. Can I get your names? Uh, Cat Hunter, or my tag is Cat Scratch. Yeah, Teresa Prudence, the Eagers. Okay, so my first question for you girls is, how many marriage proposals have you got being at E3 so far this year? I gotta say, not, as, not that many, but we have gotten a lot of challenges to play. <laughs> what have a lot of guys' uh, comments about when they find out that they're playing someone who is extremely well-skilled, but also a girl? They always say it's re just really cool. getting a lot more popular, the, the balance is starting to even out. How does one girl, how, how do you order dexterity skills than men? It was a nice little social aspect to guy, you know, women would go ask guys to begin. Would you consider something as a performance stress relief? I, I think the biggest thing really is being patient by the game. You want to play, be extremely patient with it, and learn the controls in the campaign mode. And then once you're okay with that, you can go into multiplayer. If you throw someone who doesn't know a controller in a multiplayer game, they're going to freak out. Yeah. Plus, like, having a community helps a lot. Like, as Fragdoll, we create a great community for girls to, you know, come on and, you know, be supportive with each other and, you know, play. How long have you been playing for, actually? I've, I've been a hardcore gamer probably for about five years and then playing games since I was a little teen. Yeah, I've been playing PC games for about ten years. I've been playing since I was, like, three on, you know, arcades or whatever. So. Is this your first time to E3? This is year number five. <laughs> yeah, this is my second. <laughs> uh, any, uh, between the big three, Microsoft, Box, who would you say is coming out of the leader this year in E3? I think it's hard to say. Xbox certainly took all the PR storm and all the marketing away. Uh, PlayStation showed probably superior graphic demos. Uh, Nintendo's laying back over this year. Yeah, I'm not sure because nothing sounds Okay, what would you say is your uh, current favorite first-person shooter right now? Uh, right now it's Ghost Recon 2, which is very convenient because we are sponsored by Ubisoft. So I spent a lot of time on Ghost Recon. Nice. It's not really a first-person shooter, but I'm playing Splinter Cell a lot, and um, I'm really looking forward to Quake Wars. Getting back to Splinter Cell, I find I when I play Halo, it's like crack cocaine after a while. It'll boost me up, and then when I go to something like Splinter Cell, it's like a breath of fresh air. And when I, especially when I play co-op, how do you do? You think that there's more paths all uh, online gaming can go other than just something that's so intense to say something like Halo. Uh, what do you think of Splinter Cell Online? This is our Splinter Cell expert. You ask her. <laughs> I think Splinter Cell is like more of like a, it's extremely strategy based. So it's it's almost chess like, where you need to figure out where your partner is going to go before, you know, you even start moving. <laughs> I've got a question. It's kind of about the, the state of gaming, the representation of women in the industry. Yeah. You know, it's obvious that they throw a lot of TNA, they have the girls out with the, you know, and it's obvious. Do you think that overall the gaming industry could be doing a better job of presenting women uh, in more accurate uh, portrayals? Like, I remember that game, uh, oh boy, what was it called? Uh, you're, you're taking photos, Beyond Good and Evil. I, I love the gameplay of it, and you had a character that wasn't necessarily your stereotypical EverQuest. 36 double D doing these unbelievably like it's not that I, I don't really worry about the older girls 14 15 but it's uh, the younger girls the four and five year olds what do you what do you think of the state of, of the advertising and the promotions about when it comes to girls in gaming I think that it's dramatic improvement year after year after year I mean the fact that we're sponsored by Ubisoft is proof of that in Half-Life 2 this year I mean what an awesome female hero we had in that game again it wasn't TNA it was just a hardcore beautiful woman um, I think that as more women come into gaming, which is really happening with online and is more social, that we're going to start seeing the money follow the population. Unfortunately, it's a chicken and egg thing, but it, it, it'll change. And there are a lot more unique, you know, original games coming out too, which is great. That's great. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Awesome. Well, at E3, Spaceworks TV.